Mike Callahan, Dr. Filefinder. Welcome to part 8 of our special Butterstash.com 10-part series on Evernote. Now in this segment, I'm going to show you about the Evernote Clipper. So just open a browser, go to Evernote.com. I've provided a link in the show notes. And click on What is Evernote? Now when that page loads, scroll down. Under here where it says No Download Required, click on Web Clipper. Now you see here, it's green clip to Evernote. Left click on that, hold the mouse button down, drag it up to your bookmark bar and let go and you see there it is now. Now real quickly I want to show you in the desktop interface under tools, options, there's a clipper tab where you can set basic defaults like whether it minimizes on start, you can set a global clip key and so on. And you can poke around in there yourself. But now to show you what the clipper does. So say I'm browsing around the web, I find this article on the Blackberry Storm, which is of interest to me. And so I select this text that I don't have time to read right now, but I want to read it later. Say clip to Evernote. Evernote opens. I've set my default notebook to incoming items, but if I wanted, I could save it to my carving folder. If I had 50 folders, I could pick which one. I can type in keywords. Say done. And now, if I open up Evernote, and look at the incoming items, there is my article that I just clipped. So without even opening Evernote, you can go around the internet, find text, entire web pages, graphics, phone numbers, addresses, little bits of information that you want to keep or look at later. You can quickly send them. They'll all go to your default folder, which I've made my incoming folder. And then later, you can go through and you can sort things into different notebooks. So that's the Evernote Clipper, and that concludes Part 8.